Mom is like in her perspective, she's the nice person. Okay, new opening. Oh my god, new opening, baby. We're gonna write the new opening course. Yes. Oh my god, the opening is so good. Yeah, then of course it's like, yeah, everyone's like, the little heart beating, everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> the opening is awesome, though. That opening is so good, man, with the course. Obviously, you know, Bunny, yeah, the Peggy is, of course, but. This is gonna be one of the best opens easily. Come on. It's like a great J pop song. Come on. This is just so you know, adorable opening with all the girls, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a sexy opening with all the girls doing their. Oh, but I love, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this, you know, you know, Cork JP opening is. And he's his friends, of course, with them. Yeah. Oh my god, this is an awesome opening. Oh, here we go. A shisham. They are separating. Yeah, they were ever sort of. And it's Evil Mommy. Mm, evil Mommy. Let's try to buy something. Now, but I mean, who doesn't love this part? Come on. But it's Shiki with Honor version, one of my favorite bands, too, yeah. But who doesn't love this bit? You know, we see all the girls and they're doing different areas. <laughs> like, who doesn't love this shit, you know, when you see the girls doing different angles and so on? Oh, but yeah, Shiki with Honor version is awesome, man. I mean, they do change singers, though, but. Oh, but I love this opening. This is opening is freaking fire, baby! It's freaking fire! Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, this is good one. He's running towards her. Oh, my! I tried to get some finally, you know. But yeah, let's uh, review the opening. There we go, guys. Opening two, right? So this is, I think, it's my best opening. You know, I love She 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 Could Honeyworks. I listen to them all the time, you know. My favorite song is probably the one that is the opening to. Uh, it's called Other Other Side Picnic. Um, but anyway, yeah. So of course, obviously, you know, with the, you know her, you know, disguise or her normal, but yeah, you know, she's non super sexy. Uh, definitely still focused on. I was, I think one thing immediately in review, right? It definitely focuses on that she is the main girl, right? Our goddess, of course, so she's the main girl, yeah. But I mean, that's that's pretty obvious, right? Like, you, you can, I mean, uh, you saw a recap before the opening here, right? Then we have mommy, like, I'm the actual main girl. So, but it's clear that here in the opening, she is still, she shall, she's still the big girl, right? You know? Yes, all the other girls up here too, you know, Ruka. But so, they're all there doing the hard things on, right? But she is still the main girl. Right? She comes in here, she's meeting him at school. She's you know disguised or whatever, right? Then she gets a sexy outfit on, right? This is she's the main girl. Right? The opening clearly still points out that she is still the main love interest. And the other three, like, really straightforward, yeah, pretty straightforward. This is. I like to see an opening here though, because it kind of points to the classic issue of the anime, though. Right? You know, he's the simp, right? He can never really confront her that he actually likes her. So here they're walking away from each other, right? Because she says he has to work with her, you know, being a rental girlfriend. Yeah, she has to, you know, obviously evil mommy and so on. No, I mean best girl, mommy. I mean sorry, best girl. Let's see. But who doesn't love this cause I love this in openings. Am I the only guy? I love this in openings, you know. If you see the girls and they're all like, oh no, the girls are the hearty. <laughs> I love it. And this is just like the first opening, right? I think this is really cute. We see the different girls, right? They're coming in there, we have their like the tags and name, whatever anime, right? Kanye, oh yeah, and you see them, you know, <laughs> and it slices up and right there. I think that we see this in openings for a while, right? But maybe like, I don't know, maybe yeah, maybe love is almost otaku. Butokoi, maybe this was the first one that I really hit it great, but there clearly been a lot of, you know, romantic rom-coms that do these like, cute, adorable openings, we see the girls doing different stuff and so on. Butokoi is probably, I think, the first one that was really like, wow, this is awesome, and then several other anime kind of followed suit, I think, right? But yeah, I did really open though, right? Because they were separating early in opening, so I think he still tells the story, right, typically, right? He, uh, he avoids her, he can't tell her he loves her, and now he's like, no, I need to tell her I love her, and he keeps running after her, right? So, you know, the, the opening kind of iterates the typical storytelling of this anime, where he keeps trying this, and then of course she's happy and surprised that he actually comes after her, right? But I, I mean, I'm an end all the right? Because I mean, we're gonna react, and you check out the course the actual episode re reaction and so on after this uh, opening reaction here, right? But what I've heard, or I said it immediately, right? Obviously, I've heard a lot about how the manga is just, you know, an endless cycle of this thing, right? So it does always feel this was kind of like a meta thing, because isn't this kind of just the cycle of every arc with him? That he almost tells her he loves her, but he can't do it because he's a simp, and then he just goes around, just, you know, he just goes around and around and around and around, but it's whatever, right? So I certainly feel this moment also kind of like in simple. Probably this is the real best girl though. If she wasn't watched by the goddess though, man. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but anyway, I think it's an adorable opening, a really good song. But I really like this musical. You know, I love this band. You know, I listen to them all the time. Like seriously, this is like one of my on YouTube, right? I go to Shiki and Honeyworks and their different YouTube channels. They have, they have different ones, right? I listen to them all the time. I love, I love their anime. They kind of not non anime, right? But they do this. They have this series, right? They've done for years. Where they have songs, right? And it's about like you know the sister, two sisters, and the parents and so on, right? And it's kind of like you know anime, you know, it's animated, you know, the the actual, say, the music video, right? 
and you kind of follow the storyline. It's like you know, 20 videos, right? <laughs> I've seen them for years, man. Okay, I know, I know this band, man. But there are several different members of it, several different, you know. And also, of course, Sora herself has sang, you know, a few of the Shiko Honey works and what previously as well. Yeah, she's been, you know, involved in them previously, right? So, you know. Uh, but I'm gonna get scrapped. I'm gonna check out the actual episode review, right? 